next, uh, let's get the latest for you on the situation in Mali, where today a military source has said that both the president and the prime minister has, have resigned. Now, that news comes two days after both men were detained by troops. France has called uh, what's been happening earlier this week a coup within a coup. The government here also threatening sanctions if the pair aren't reinstated. Well, let's talk more about the situation in Mali with our foreign affairs chief, Rob Parsons. He's on the line for us now. Uh, Rob, what do you make of this latest news that both the president and the prime minister have now resigned? Well, resigned seems to be a euphemism in this case. The, 24 hours ago, uh, Colonel Goita, the, the man that... The, the interim vice president, the man who led the coup in August last year and was responsible for pushing these two men aside, said that he had stripped them uh, of their powers uh, for, 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 for in the first place for not consulting with him in the replacement of two members of the, of the cabinet who happened to be soldiers. Today, uh, that's been called a resignation, and this follows negotiations, it seems, with uh, the economic community of West African states, the regional body ECOWAS, uh, which, which has been negotiating with uh, the leaders of this coup within a coup, as Emmanuel Macron put, put it, uh, to try and persuade them to take a step back. They have not taken the step back that uh, is being required of the international community, uh, but you know, a, a sweetener has been put on it by describing uh, their, their, their decision to resign uh, as, as if this was something that, uh, that they decided themselves rather than had imposed upon them by uh, the coup leaders. But, you know, that, that's where we stand at the moment. Uh, the, the coup leaders say that the, uh, the, the, the transition to civilian government uh, following elections next February will continue. Uh, that a new, a new coalition, a new government will be put in place. And there is some speculation uh, that the M5 RFP alliance of opposition politicians and civil organizations, uh, which was very responsible for, for the, 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 the strong up, uprest in uh, Mali uh, that led to the coup in part last year in August, uh, which but which has not been represented in the cabinet up until now, uh, will be represented in the next one when it's put together. Now, Robert, France has talked about possible sanctions against the leaders of what France is calling a coup. Do you think that's likely? Yeah, Fra France has been talking about sanctions. Echo Watts has been talking about sanctions. The European Union has been talking about sanctions. Uh, Emmanuel Macron, in that uh, statement about a coup within a coup, said targeted sanctions might be possible. But one has to question you know, whether they'll be prepared to take a step like that, given uh, the already existing instability in Mali uh, and the weakness of government in general. A step to, to impose serious sanctions could weaken the government even more, make it even more susceptible uh, to the jihadist unrest in the country, undermine France's own operation in Mali, where there are 6,000 French troops, and make things in general rather more difficult. So despite the, 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 the sort of implied threat there, I think it's unlikely at this stage that uh, there will be sanctions. Rob Parsons, uh, thank you very much indeed uh, for your analysis on the programme.